Hi, my name is Catherine Levesque. I'm an author on Amazon, and I have 35 novels on Amazon and counting. Today we're going to talk about one of my novels called The Wolf. The Wolf um, was actually my very first novel. Um, it was one of those books that, when I got the idea to do it, it was, it was after reading um, several novels. I was a voracious reader back in the 90s. But I'd also always been writing my entire life, so it was one of those things where I wrote as a hobby, but I love to read, and when I finally figured out that I could write what these other people were writing, um, at least to a, a certain extent, um, I wanted to give it a try, and medieval was always my favorite uh, genre, so I immediately launched into this book I called The Wolf. It's set in uh, 1231 A.D., um, and it basically chronicles the life of the infamous border wolf, Sir William DeWolf, and the love of his life, the Lady Jordan Scott. Um, it starts out with Sir William um, having fought a very nasty, nasty battle. He's got a bad wound on his thigh. And, you know, back then there was no medics. There was no ambulances, you know, we, we all know this. But, you know, the truth of the matter is, battle back then was some nasty, nasty business. And you, you got a wound, it was pretty much guaranteed that uh, you uh, you weren't going to survive it if it was really, really bad and, and uh, something that was really just brutal. But, so William gets this uh, nasty gash on his thigh and he basically crawls off to, to die. But mainly what he was doing when he crawled off was evading the Scots women because back in the day they would comb the battlefields for, for valuables. But if they came across, uh, you know, a, a, an enemy soldier or knight that was alive, they would kill him. So he, he kind of crawls off to, to avoid these women. Well, enter the women. Um, they've come out onto the field. They are going to pick through the dead, um, get their valuables off their fingers. You know, if you had a ring on your finger and, you know, when you die, everything swells up. Well, they just cut the finger off, throw the finger in the, in the basket and they, they would, uh, go off with it. Yeah. Nasty business. Anyway, so William crawls off to die and the women come out onto the field and they're, they're going through the dead. Um, Jordan is with them. She is not, she doesn't have as strong a stomach as her kinswomen. So she kind of goes off to, uh, to hide basically until the, the, the deed is done. She comes across William and he's laying in the, in the bushes and he's badly wounded. And she knows he is. She's kind of a bleeding heart. She's, a tender soul, and she basically saves his life. She doesn't think she does a very good job because it's she's nervous, she's afraid, she's afraid of him, she's afraid of her kinswomen that are going to find out what she's doing. So she does a real sloppy job and a quick job of it, and um, she uh, runs off after she's finished basically quickly stitching him up and then dousing it with whiskey. Now the key is dousing it with the alcohol because of course, as we know now that that kills all the germs. Um, so she essentially saves his life. Now you're fasting forward probably about, I think I've got a three months uh, in the book, but um, the English proposed peace along the border, basically Henry the third is the king at this time. And he's a young king, and he's proposing peace. Um, and um, essentially, he wants one of his, his border barons to marry a Scots woman, make an alliance for peace. You know, it's, it's, it's an old, old, old story. Well, the, the earl that he wants to, you know, be part of this bargaining tool is none other than William DeWolf's liege. So William serving the Earl uh, John Longley, John de Longley, William goes to Scotland to pick up the bride, come to find out it's his battlefield angel. And of course, he's never forgotten her. He, in my mind, he fell in love with her the moment he saw her. Um, and I think that it's, it's something that has to do with, obviously, love at first sight. But, but, knowing in your heart and your soul that that person that you meet, there's, there's that spark, there's that click, there's something 
that makes them endear, endear you know, endears them to you. Um, that moment that you meet, and and that's what William had for Jordan. Now, she has the same thing for him, but the circumstances were, are kind of different for her right now. She's she's very nervous. She's upset. She's got to marry this English Earl that she really doesn't want to have anything to do with. Um, but uh, you know, the love story begins when William brings her back to England, and y you know, I, I think it kind of begs the question: What would you do? to be with the love of your life? Would you defy your, your, I almost want to say moral standards, but, but if you're so in love with someone, excuse me, my phone is ringing because I was an idiot and forgot to turn it off. Anyway, um, I, I think it kind of begs the question, do you defy everything you ever believed in your, your moral standards, your, your scruples, um, to be with the person that you love? And in William's case, yeah, he's going to do it. And and in, in Jordan's case, she's very much in love with him as well. Yeah, she's going to do it. Um, because it's not lust. It's not, it's not a fly by night relationship. It's something that was cemented the moment she ceased looking at him as the enemy on the battlefield and saved his life. And he, he feels gratitude, but just just the love for her is so great that he's willing to risk everything for her. And I think that that's what makes the wolf such a romantic and endearing um, novel. It's just something that I think it's the kind of love that everybody wants, but not everybody gets. And um, I think that's what makes it so special. Now, Quickly, The Wolf is one of those novels that I had originally typed on an HB 286. This is a long time ago. Um, you know, back when computers, personal computers especially, were just really getting into people's homes. Um, that thing crashed a long time ago. Thank God I saved a hard copy, which I had to have retyped, and it was huge. I mean, this thing was, you know, 1,200 pages. It was just gigantic. Um, so it's really a miracle that this book made it. Um, into the publishing arena at all. And I'm so happy that it did. And I'm so happy that it has been so well received. And I hope you've read it. And if you haven't, I hope you do, because it's a really, really good one. So that's our discussion today about The Wolf. As always, please feel free to visit me at www.katherinelevesque.com. And you can email me um, from the website. Any questions, any comments? Um, love to hear them. Love to hear from my readers. So thank you so much for watching today.